Hi, so my name is Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at IELTSpodcast.com. Lovely to be with you again. Uh, thank you for getting involved on the essay corrections and the course. I um, really hope we're going to help you on your IELTS preparation. So let's have a look at these first two. Some people think schools have to be more entertaining. Others think their sole purpose is to educate. Which do you agree with? Uh, specific reasons and examples. Okay. Today, there's a lot of controversy about teaching methods used in schools. Some people say that traditional methods are now becoming redundant in their educational impact. More entertaining methods ought to be adopted. Others say entertainment in teaching is not the school's duty towards students. Very interesting. Okay, there's a few little grammar things. Let's have a look. Today, there's a lot of controversy. I wouldn't use a lot of because it's a bit informal for IELTS. And it's an opportunity to use a different tense here. So recently, you could say controversy has been growing. So here you've got a lovely passive there, now which we always use, or we always use present perfect with recently. So recently, controversy has been growing uh, about teaching methods used in schools. Some people, some people, oh, sorry, sorry, background noise here. Uh, okay, so recently controversy has been growing about teaching methods used in schools. So that's a nice strong sentence. Some people, now, who are these people? So let's be specific. You've got some people here, but you've got some people there as well. Yeah? So who are these people? So many teachers, many parents maybe, say traditional methods are becoming redundant um in that educational impact good and more entertaining methods ought to be adopted now you don't need our ought ought works like a kind of passive anyway actually ought to be adopted now and i wouldn't use that word entertaining because same problem we've got that word in the question so you need to use your own words not the same words as the question okay others so critics maybe uh, say, or maybe critics here and then parents, say entertainment in teaching is not the school's duty towards its students. So just a bit of variety here. This essay will discuss, okay, that's fine, but you need your opinion. So opinion, so very important here. Give me your opinion, because it's an opinion essay. Okay, which do you agree with? So opinion here and opinion again in the conclusion. There you are. On one hand, <clears throat> one can argue that entertainment has become a huge part of our lives with the advance in technology, while educational methods still remain traditional. Mm, okay, I feel, again, we're still using too many words from here. You need to be more specific. Entertainment, including uh, watching videos or using internet activities, something like that. Uh, has become a huge part of our lives. Don't worry about our lives. I want to know about school. Yeah? With the um, advance in technology. Well, educational methods remain traditional. Okay. Well, we could talk about teaching and learning in schools still remains. So just think about more, like, paraphrasing the words is what I mean. For instance, reading rates among children and adults. I'm not worried about adults. I just want to talk about schools. Be specific. It's hit an all-time low in the past decade as opposed to the decades before. This is due to the animated and talking images that people have grown used to. So again, keep it focused on students or children. Uh, good. Using interactive techniques. Good example here. Well done. Such as uh, Korean documentaries as a way of explaining. Really nice. Well done. Uh, might make so go into a mocha verb here might make the understanding of absorption of information a lot more engaging okay rather than a lot go significantly more engaging and less tiresome really nice good paragraph there well done um you could put in here for example so ben will talk to you um in the next modules for example on how to add the examples in there because it does talk about using examples on the other hand, reading and writing have been primarily the main methods in education throughout all ages. Good. Reading and writing um, as a means to success. I think we need to really also think about the traditional methods which basically aim towards exams, aim towards this sort of focus, don't they, for the future. Technology is only a recent addition in the past few decades. Um, 
Now, as soon as you have in the past few decades, you need to have the present perfect. So it has only become a recent edition. If you look back to the beginning where we used the present perfect there, it has only become a recent edition in the past few decades. Um, and maybe link this sentence, it's a bit short, that one. One can argue that schools are not required to follow methods used in other industries in the market to entertain, to entertain, comma, as reading and writing will always remain the most basic and main tools of learning, comma, even if technology fails. Good sentence, very long, well done, nice. Additionally, while schools are the place to get educated, okay, we wouldn't say get educated to inform, uh, okay, to uh, learn or to um, access education, maybe rather than get. The enjoyment of learning should also be nourished by families. It's unlikely that a student will enjoy and continue to learn if parents don't take part. <clears throat> uh, it's a correct sentence, but I would kind of argue that you're going a little bit off the point because we're talking about schools being entertain entertaining. We're not talking about parents here. Make really sure that every single sentence is connected to the essay title. To conclude, again, your opinion. I believe that. Yeah. Um, both methods prove to have their advantages. Um, yes, be again, be careful. Which do you agree with? It's kind of almost easier to just say, I agree with this and I disagree with that. But you can do this. It must be your opinion, though. Uh, we don't want that. Um, yes, okay, so you could say that you, know, you believe that both entertainment or... I'd rather see words like this. Interesting. Uh, stimulating. Challenging. Activities. And then you could have put earlier, including sport, including art, including something. So I think you need a little bit more detail about what these methods are. Okay, I think that would be good. Uh, should be incorporated in it. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so... It's a nice essay to start with, but hopefully you can see here my point about sticking on topic. Yeah, uh, a little bit more variety maybe in the grammar and making sure that we uh, definitely add a bit more um, kind of variety into the vocab here. So next one, doing an enjoyable activity with a child can develop better skills and more creativity. To what extent do you agree? So nurturing a child's talent and imagination is any parent's biggest concern from a young age. Good, nice. Um, um, to, I think from a young age should actually more naturally come there from a young age and then I put that in commas because it's like a kind of relative clause isn't it uh, from a young age is any parent's biggest concern with growing demand for formal education in today's world, most parents believe that the habit of reading from a young age so we've got young age, young age, let's not repeat this is a path to open-mindedness and intelligence. However, personally, now, now you've got your opinion, great. I believe that involving children in physical activities first develops their skills better, better and more permanently. You'd have to put this in here because you're comparing, okay? Um, so that works nicely. Well done. Firstly, reading is a mentally strenuous <laughs> activity. Um, and so join these sentences together. And often, children between ages of three and six still have underdeveloped minds with limited comprehension skills. Really nice. Forcing them to read um, could put them under unnecessary stress. And okay, I'd use could not can, but really nice, good sentence here. I like how you're starting with the participle there. So forcing them to read could put them under unnecessary stress that might carry on till adolescence. Good. Moreover, developing academic skills should be done. Don't always use must, should is possible as well, in an organised fashion. For instance, like in most primary schools, teachers focus on teaching the meaning of basic words and phrases instead of solely focusing on the act of reading itself. <clears throat> uh, you don't need like that. Uh, okay, I'm not sure where you're going here. In most primary schools, teachers focus on teaching the meaning of basic words and phrases instead of solely focusing on the act of reading itself. Focusing on just the act of reading does not warrant understanding, subsequently leading to the aversion of doing it. OK, 
Okay, I, I'm not. Sh I don't think that sentence kind of quite works grammatically. It's not very coherent. But more to the point, let's get back up to this. Doing an activity with a child can develop more creativity than reading. So we're not talking about schools here. Really important. I know having just done the other essay, your mind is thinking of schools. But this is not really about schools. This can be children reading at home as well. Uh, so you've got on the other hand, but you haven't got on the one hand. And you've got firstly, but you haven't got secondly. So be careful on these linking sentences that they kind of are logical here. Children in the same age who frequently played outdoors and made friends grew up to have better. So here you've gone into the past tense and here you're in the present. So do you see a little bit confusing um, this little section here? So that's important. For example, uh, reveal that children who focus on play in primary schools more than academia perform better in university with their jobs than children who started reading. That's a really interesting example. Um, and uh, I would take out that, I would use this sentence, but I'd put it in the end of here, end of the example. Okay, so I like what you're saying, but I'd rework it. Okay. Um, now, admittedly, is this another paragraph? Because it's very short compared to that paragraph. You want your paragraphs to be about the same length, ideally. Admittedly, there's also been research that reveals creative skills and from students who read frequently. Only caveat with these children develop the habit of reading. Okay, so that paragraph for me doesn't work. Um, you, This is very much young children. Yeah, doing an activity with a child. Okay, so we're not talking about students. We're definitely not talking about university. Um, so primary schools, yep, yeah, fine. Here, but maybe more focus on what the activities might be. So doing sport, um, take being more involved in art, or even do, going with an adult because it's doing an activity with a child, going to a museum, going to the park, looking at nature, that kind of stuff. Yeah, what kind of skills are they learning? They're learning to look, they're learning to watch, they're learning to understand, they're learning to ask questions. That should be the focus of this kind of paragraph here. And then to conclude, it be, I strongly believe. Yeah. Okay, so here when it says to what extent do you agree, that's when you have to have the strongly or firmly. Okay, and arguably. Yes, so you're right, but get this back to children. So lots of good stuff here. Hopefully that correction will have guided you a little bit on what we need to be thinking about for the next essays. Well done. Really good start.